What's up guys, this is the Roferman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Ottoman Empire. So to round off happened last time, we fought a defensive battle near Cologne and pushed away a coalition army. And now we're being attacked once more by a large coalition of troops. So the main garrison in the town is very depleted, as are all the Danish troops, really. Uh, the only strong force coming in you have to worry about is this Prussian army, because they will be entering the force at the same time as most of the garrison. So we have to hunker down and defend. So let's get cracking. I'm curious to see what the terrain looks like. Uh, we know the Prussians are coming in on our extreme right flank, so we're gonna, probably going to want to withdraw to the left to create our defensive position to make sure we are firing at... Well, all of our firepower is directed on the, at the direction, anticipated direction of travel. We do know how the game likes to be. It may... It's completely possible it could screw us over. Uh, but let's do... Let's do something like this. Because if I were a betting man, they'd come in from over here. Based on my experience with... <laughs> my experience with Empire Tower War and how, how they like to uh, screw you over. So let's create a bit of a line outside of the town to hold that flank. And then let's take these men that are not currently deployed. These cavalry can stay here for now. I want my rifles to deploy up to, de uh, to drop stakes. It's another unit of Nizam. My plan is to deploy like along here. And then my howitzers. There we go. Oh, and bring in my general. And there's my riskers of souls. Oh, Jesus. Okay, Danes. Okay, the Prussians. The Prussians are coming from over here. Some of them are, anyway. Some of them are directly ahead of a. Okay, the big Prussian army is coming in from where we anticipated. Okay. Come on, deploy properly. I hear cavalry charging. I'm just going to ignore it. I mean, if they do, if they want cavalry charge, they are more than welcome. Because we have got an impressive line of troops waiting. So lots of the enemy cavalry units should be repelled fairly easily. Put my Roferman out here on the extreme flank, protected by the town. The gunners can redeploy and they're probably going to sit there and lob canister shot. Just allow my big block of Nizam to uh, protect us. Get my howitzers firing on. There's a lot of cavalry coming in. Lots of generals are being killed. Okay, let's get Sipahi out onto the field. Let's get the this infantry out on the field. Run in front, which will get shot to bits. So 
just hold my Sipahi back and I let my my Sipahi counter charge. That's the garrison coming in from over there then, that's pretty good to know. We need to start. I want to push back as many of these darn troops as I can. So my Pansipahi's countercharged their cavalry, so that should see them off pretty well. Stay in the square. Unfortunately, they are. It doesn't mean their cavalry are leaving their. They're leaving their uh, infantry pretty unprotected. On this front. No. Don't change your mind. You gotta hunker down. A close range cannon shot definitely feels more dependable. Reload. Fire! God, this game does love to screw you over at times. Swiss liner charging my musketeers. They're not going to be entirely happy about that. And then again, their horse, their cuirassiers aren't very happy. Okay, let's get my my line infantry, my skirmish, my light infantry can start to take up some of these dragoons. actually attack those cuirassiers then if you're not going to do what I ask. I wanted my... there we go. So you guys charge into the flank of those Swiss line, stay in square. So now we can start to actually if I okay hold on this might be the better idea those janissaries are those musketeers are done for they've held the line let's actually pivot you guys to be firing a bit more into the flank there we go those men have been they're not sacrificed. Come on, I want you to deploy it right. Come on, there. Okay, you guys drop into square again then, if those hussars are going to be the only things that chase you. Who's back there? Artillery, marines. My cavalry to hit the marines. There we go. So now my men that are, that are lost in the centre. They did not die in vain. Massive cavalry charge has cracked open the marines. Blunderbuss shotgunners to the rear. Hussars are pushed on. Hello. They pushed in. My riskers of souls now have a job. Counter charge. Oh no, Swiss pikes. Counter charge with my janissaries. Get away. Get away, infantry. Oh, I wish I would like. Keep my Sapahi back, they're still quite useful. Yeah, my Riskers of Souls have broken both of these units, now I need to get those Riskers, Riskers of Souls back to go fight. Okay, you guys, this weakened infantry can push up to engage those guns. The strong infantry. Push up. Yeah, 
I mean, charge if they're going to run close to you. My risk is of souls, Olavia. Too bad my artillery's focusing on bad targets. There we go. My light infantry going to shoot the, the blunderbusters to bits, as will my infantry. They still... Artillery is still shooting at them. Stop. Pick someone else. Especially when I'm trying to charge infantry into them. My Janissaries are both broken. The Guard Engineers are upset. The Swiss Pikes are upset as well. In fact, let's pour... Let's set this unit of Nizam into them. I can push up that unit there. Riskers of Souls focus the pikes. They are a concern. We'll switch you guys into fire at will. Chief I need to pivot you guys around. Get my Sapahis back to my line. Delhi Horsemen run around and hit those gunners. It looks like their infantry are all on the field now. Okay, come on, deploy. There we go. So between my Nizam and my Riskers of Souls, they'll probably knock out these pikes. My gunners are gone. You guys go hit their artillery. Come on, Swiss pikes. You've had enough. Kill them a little bit more. But I want this infantry unit to take position in the centre. Delhi Horsemen hit the 4th Regiment of Sakers back here. It's lured away a unit of line infantry, which is pretty useful. Carry on killing the gun crew. Because if I can get them, so hopefully some of that bullet damage kills their men. It's one gun team killed. Come on, there's one more gun team. Good, run away, hit the Republican Guard. My light infantry have clashed, or my Nizam have clashed with their light, with their line infantry. Quite a significant concentration of enemy troops on the right flank. Engineers are wavering. Run my Sapahi on into the line infantry or the Swiss light, because that Swiss line is clearly what they want. Let's 
push up. Howitzers both engage. Froy Corps to the rear. Really start to pivot the line. He's doing good stuff. They're likely going to route in the face of their Swiss line, but their Swiss line was determined to go after them. Firing off shots frantically to try and knock out the Marines. The Prussians, however, do have fire by rank. These men engage the Refroy Corps line infantry. We get to push a bunch of men over to go fight in that line combat, in that melee combat. And was Pahi upset? but they're just going to fix them in position while everyone else comes over to get involved in some fisticuffs. So the janissary is coming in. They saw off my heavy cavalry, but they're not going to get a chance to uh, consolidate. The Swiss line's pretty darn good. Swamp them. There we go. They've been killed. Let's just speed up time right now. There's only one. There's only one real combat. I'm gonna continue, but let's turn off all my artillery, and we're just gonna watch my Delhi horsemen chase people down. Actually, my general might want to chase down the Swiss line because they're running in a really good direction for him. Yes. Yes. Hey, these guys might kill the line in the fly core. Only four of them left. Two, one, boo. Chase down the Marines. You're not going to get them, but chase them down. Pyrrhic victory. Sort of. Sort of. We've got more men in the area. Um, I mean, our armies are in, are in pretty bad shape, I must admit. But to be honest, the Prussians are in very bad shape. <laughs> um, they've not got any real strength near us to uh, do a lot of damage. Come on, give me my turn. Give me, give me. Gib. Top gallant. Good. Okay. That's pretty. Well, these are the only two things you can research. Which is pretty awesome. Do some building. Okay, let's not do too much upgrading here. Alright, so Cologne is now officially unprotected. So if I just run you guys in, demand their surrender. Ah, okay. They're going to fight, eh? We'll see about that. All my spies are doing, going south towards Gibraltar. Let's repair this, replenish you guys. So 
and you guys need a punishment. And you guys, well, you got the, you got a lot of crap kicked out of you, didn't you? Okay. So you men join the force there. I could do with a heavy cavalry unit. And probably some kind of melee infantry. Like the Semat. Chemat. Yes. There we go. So you keep drawing up some heavy cavalry. We do have some on the way. We may as well just have some elite units coming in from a long way off because they won't directly impact the uh, they won't directly impact the uh, army consistency in the short term because it'll take a long time to get up there no not not Cairo Janissaries they'll take an awful long time to get here let's get another unit of Spahi let's get Another Nizam light. Cool. Okay. So then, what we want? Build the sloop. Upgrade the commercial port. Upgrade the steam powered cloth mill. You guys. You're only one unit short, so let's steal a unit of rifles from Berlin. Berlin is being converted to Islam. Good. Because this army would be will be ready to uh, march north. Actually, no, we're not need. They're not needed to march north. This army can auto resolve the. Yeah, you can auto resolve that army. That, that force. Spend some more money replenishing. Upgrade the lumber mill. Upgrade this to a madrasa. Actually, do we have a madrasa? We do. Cancel that. Build it into a craft workshop. Upgrade the dock. You're fully replenished and waiting for an order. If I push you in, can you... Yeah, you can auto-resolve that small army. So we've then got every other territory under Prussian control. Uh, under siege. So I might take this force. Actually, you're pretty knackered. If I move you out, I can move you in to... Okay, you weren't quite the army I meant to send. You guys push up and hold the bridge. You could also do with a unit of light cavalry for once. So I might just specifically recruit a unit of that for you. Okay, let's get some Delhi horsemen. Yeah, everyone else is is under siege. Don't worry, Britain. Soon we're gonna storm over the storm over the channel and take you out. But what I probably want to do is then move this army around like this. Can you hit that army? Nope. Let's take you guys and let's go for the remainder of the episode, let's go and take Cologne. Because in the next few episodes it's going to be Siege City, we're going to take Paris, we're going to take Amsterdam and we will have finally after 50 episodes or something ridiculous like that we'll have finally destroyed our Prussian enemy. We'll have pushed them back all the way across the continent. Then we can land a bunch of armies onto into England, take them out, deploy our howitzers in the back, dropping off. Quick climb shot, field artillery deploy back here on this ridge. We can lob shells in at range. Push up the infantry, or the melee infantry, right into their face. Which you probably want to stretch them out a bit more than that, because they do have a lot of mortars. Melee infantry on the left. Okay, we're weighted very heavy for cavalry. Here. Yeah, 
quick climbing mortars. I mean, it's just been been hit a lot. So what have they done? They've lost 150 men. They've lost not too, you know not too far off of uh, half their strength. Militia, militia, line, line. Pivot. God damn. There we go. Pivot these guys like so. Smash my janissaries into that infantry unit. Stop these guys from firing at will before they kill everyone. Walk, run! You're madmen with swords. Okay, let's throw our cavalry into the mix. Janissaries charge on into the militia to the rear. So for you, you detach. Yeah, that they broken again. Yeah, well, that's that. Shattered, broken. The militia will get some pot shots off. At our horsemen. But I believe the risk is worth taking. The general's been killed. The militia have abandoned their defensive position. No, nope. The armed citizenry did change their minds. I'm going to send one unit to chase after them. The mortar garrison have legged it. The militia are very upset and they've not even been engaged. There you go, my janissaries are in. And it's time to slice and dice, boys. Surprising they have stuck around actually, but they've actually their morale situation improved. Let's get these dirty horsemen involved. Actually no, let's move them up. See a couple of both a couple of units say they're winning. I need to... My mouse definitely needs replacing, because then, like right then, I'm, you double right click to uh, get them to run, but instead they just decide that they're going to take that, you know, the clicks were too, there was too much space in them, and what that meant was that you gave them two walk orders. So there goes the 11th, falling rapidly in the hands of our men. Beautiful. So everyone else is gone. There we go. That'll teach them to, to uh, oppose our troops. But that's the capture of Cologne. The city is ours. Let's repair the buildings, let's replenish our men. Then next up we're probably going to take this army and attack the garrison at Amsterdam. But, looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed. And we'll see you next time for the beginning of the end really. We're going to fight in Amsterdam, we're going to fight in Paris, we're going to fight in Brussels, and then that's pretty much all of our major continental enemies 
defeated, they were going to start shipping in, uh, troops down to uh, Madrid to help fight against the Spanish. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the Assault on Amsterdam. Cheers, everyone.